Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your five minute mini five cast here. General advice as always, so let's get right into your reading here. I'll be pulling from the Angels of Romance Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So what is it that you need to know at this time? Somebody hurt you. This is wounded defeated, breaking down. Okay, look at the next card here, guys. We've got broken, damaged heart, trust has been lost. This represents a relationship that really hurt you, that disappointed you. They broke your heart. Trust issues. But look at this. You've got Cupid's arrow. You've got manifesting. And then you've got lessons. So I feel you've learned your lesson when it comes to that type of experience. And here you are in a much better position to manifest a relationship where someone's not going to disappoint you and hurt you in that way. This could represent a new love interest right here with Cupid's arrow. Okay, so if you're single right now, if you're between relationships and you're looking for love, take the time to learn these lessons if you haven't already. You are completely capable of being able to manifest new love here. Goals, plans, dedication to succeed. That applies to so much more than just your love life, Aquarius. Okay, so you're actually in a position to be able to bring in so much into your life. Really good things. All right, so let's grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection tarot here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius. What do we need to know here? This person hurt you big time. But I really like this because you're you're moving on. You're looking ahead. You're looking towards the future and what's ahead of you rather than where you've been. Okay? You've got the lover's card right here. You've got the chariot. And you've got the ace of wands. So all pretty positive energies right here. Some of you might end up connecting with a Gemini specifically. We've got the lover's card right there, which is all about love choices and decisions ensuring that you will attract the right kind of partner. You could be dealing with a cancer as well. We've got the chariot coming in. So this is movement, getting you to be able to create progress in your life away from people that have hurt you and disappointed you and broke your heart. You've got the opportunity to grow from this experience, to learn the lessons attached to it. There's a lot of potential in future love connections that you do make, okay? You could meet somebody who's very compatible for you. This could be a soulmate, somebody that you feel very drawn to. This represents a very triumphant, successful energy with the chariot right there. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues as far as being able to find the right kind of love for you, okay? You don't wanna be trapped in your thoughts as far as perhaps believing that you're never gonna be able to manifest new love because you can. You know, and sometimes when we've been through something so difficult with someone that disappointed us, somebody that we relied very heavily on, we trusted them and then they ended up hurting us. They betrayed our trust, things of that nature. So, of course, it would be very easy for us to be in that type of mentality for a very long time where we're just thinking, you know, damn, it's like if somebody had the capability to do that to me once, Who's to say that I can't experience that again? And yes, of course, that's a possibility in life, but I'm really ultimately feeling it's worth the risk to, to grow from this experience and to start again. See what's out there for you. Take a chance on love because you might ultimately find through these lessons, through the spiritual lessons that the Hierophant is wanting to offer you that you can manifest a beautiful relationship with somebody that's all in, somebody who is not afraid of commitment, somebody that you're going to really enjoy getting to know them and being very compatible in that partnership that might even lead towards long-term commitment, getting married someday, starting a family with this person. So the way I see it, Aquarius, you can have it all. You know, if you don't have it already, 
This could represent past relationships that you have been through and through a new connection that entered your life whenever that happened, you were able to manifest so many amazing things. Hopefully you're already there, but if not, this is a part of your journey to be able to manifest this.